Hello Coach Art community and welcome to another live art tutorial. My name is Jess and I'm a senior program manager here at Coach Art where we're dedicated to creating a transformative arts and athletics community for families impacted by childhood chronic illness. And today I'm so excited to show everyone how to create this mixed media rainbow scape. It looks like this. Um, it's super simple. You can change up the design if you want to. If you don't want to do a little girl under a rainbow, you can do a little boy. You can put an animal. You can really do whatever you'd like. So I'll show you how to get the figure drawing. And then I'll show you how I created this really cool rainbow effect. So it looks like it's raining rainbow colors. <laughs> um, so in order to follow along, you're going to need a few simple items. I'm going to go ahead and show everyone my desk. That way you can get a better look at the materials for today. All right. So today we're going to be needing a pencil to do our um, first outline and sketch, a pen because we're going to trace it and something darker. We're going to be using ink. Um, I love doing ink drawings, it's a lot of fun, and then when you add watercolor to it, it really makes it pop. An eraser, just in case you want to change any designs. And then I have some watercolors here, very simple palette. Um, of course, if you have a bigger palette, you can use as many colors or as few colors as you want. And then I have a little brush here with some water that comes in the top. So if you don't have a, um, if you have just a regular brush, which is fine. Um, something that maybe looks like this, right? You'll want something, um, it doesn't have to be this small. <laughs> this is just the closest one I had to me. But a regular brush, you just want some water on the side and a piece of paper towel to dry your brush off with and clean your brush in between colors, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is make our sketch, okay? So you're gonna want to grab your pencil and we're going to be drawing our little character. I like to start with uh, their face. I'm going to do another girl. And you can change up any of the, um, I'm making sure I'm not doing it too close to this one. <laughs> you can change up any of the um, features if you want to. You can make them have shorter hair or longer hair or straight hair or braids, anything like that. So I'm just drawing a shape for the head. Then I'm gonna draw um, some hair. I like to do curly hair. And give some curls in her face. And then we're going to draw her um, her outfit. So give a little neck. Then to draw a shoulder. And she's going to be carrying her umbrella, right? Because she's under the umbrella, that's protecting her from the rain. So I'm going to draw a little hand very simple hand illustration it kind of looks like a mitten <laughs> and we're going to draw her other hand in her pocket and go ahead and draw her pants or skirt if you want Then some rain boots for puddles. I'm going to draw like a little curve right here so it looks like her hand is going inside of the pocket. I'll draw another pocket on the other side. And then the umbrella. So. And draw like a little curved umbrella. And then I'm making kind of like this 
these scalloped loops for or these like um, humps <laughs> these like curved lines and I'm gonna draw a big one over at the top and a little top of the umbrella and we have our design so some of these lines aren't perfect I'm gonna just clean up some of them so it looks a little bit neater make sure I get any eraser marks off and this is what ours looks like oh actually her pants too and once you have something you kind of like you can go ahead and trace so I am just going to grab some ink. You can also use a marker. Um, you can use a marker if you'd like to. And I'm going to start to trace around my design so that it comes out really nice and bold. For her eyes, I just did very simple dots for her eyes and give her a tiny smile. She's going to be happy because it's raining, but it's raining colors. <laughs> um, and then let's go ahead and trace the rest. awesome so you have our basic outline and then i'm going to give this a second to dry and erase the pencil underneath before i start to add some details with the pen so i really like adding details with the ink color you want to wait a little bit for it to dry otherwise you can kind of smudge the ink which isn't the end of the world, but it's not the most fun. And you want to get rid of the uh, pencil before you add the watercolor because I'll even though we're not doing the watercolor on top of her, um, just because if any water gets to it, it does tend to smudge the pencil. So it kind of is like a like a liquid graphite pencil. But okay, so I'm gonna add some details to her hair. Depending on the type of hairstyle, maybe you'll want to add some like lines, some straight lines for highlights in her hair. I'm adding these random curly loopy loops. So that it looks like she has curly hair. They're really just squigglies.
I'm going to add a few more over here. And then I'm going to add some stripe designs to her outfit. You can do anything. You can add polka dots. You can add hearts. I just like the stripes. You can add stars. You can add clouds. And I like to do my stripes in different directions so you can tell it's a different piece of clothing. But I also like to do her outfit or the character's outfit in black and white. That way the rainbow really stands out. But if you do want to add color to um, your rainbow buddy's outfit, that is okay as well. You can add more ink designs to your art piece in another way. Maybe you want to add some clouds or puddles on the ground using the ink. It's really up to you. Okay, and then last but not least, I'm going to add some detail to this rain the umbrella. I'm just adding these very short lines <laughs> to kind of shade in the umbrella in black and white. And again, you can do any pattern that you want. I just liked the idea of doing straight line work for the shading, but you can do any design that you have in mind. And I'm actually going to add a few more. All right now it's time for the fun part um, for me at least I really love when you get to add the pop of color so my pop of color is gonna come from my mini paint palette here I'm just gonna open it up and now is when you would grab your brush and your water and paper towel. My water and my brush are already in one, so that saves me a step. And what we're going to do is get some water into our color. I'm just going to drip it out from the brush. And you want to start on, the f on one side. You can choose to go left to right or right to left. It's up to you. I'm going to start on one end and... I'm going to start to create a line using red. And I'm starting with red because the rainbow colors are going to go red, orange, yellow, green, blue. And if you have purple, you can do purple. Now 
And then as it gets down to the bottom, you want to kind of smudge that color around so that it looks kind of like a puddle. So you use, you use your brush to kind of make a mess of the color. Then you have your first drop of color and you want to go ahead and rinse your brush off before you go to the next one. The next color is going to be orange. I'm going to get a little bit of water into my orange color and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to move over just a little bit so there's a little bit of space in between each color and then I'm going to create a, a line so it looks like a, a drop of color that is falling. Making sure that orange comes up pretty strong. And then the next color is going to be yellow. So I'm going to clean my brush one more time. And grab some yellow paint. Going to wet it up a little bit using water make a drip and then with my yellow I'm going to end up hitting my umbrella so I want to make it look like the rain is going around the umbrella I'm going to try not to hit her <laughs> the best that I can but she is going to be standing in water. Probably should have made her umbrella a little bit bigger because her hair is a little big, but that's okay. Next, we're going to use green. Um, I have two shades of green because I didn't have any purple. So, if you are following along and you do have purple, you can do green, blue, purple. I'm going to do dark green, light green, and then blue. <laughs> so I'm going to start with a dark green. And I'm just going to have the color fade into the yellow. I'm not going to bring a drop down because she's protected from the green. And clean my brush off really quickly on the side here and I'm gonna go into my light green it also looks kind of blue but I th I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be green <laughs> and I'm gonna do the same thing I'm going to have it like go around the top of the umbrella 
and then trail off the side. And adding a little bit of water to create that puddle at the bottom. Rinsing my brush, and just a reminder: if you have purple, you would be red, yellow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. But I'm doing two greens, <laughs> and then lastly, I'm going to do blue. And I'm pretty sure it's this blue. <laughs> These I have four colors that are really dark, and they kind of look the same, so I forget. Yes, blue, Let's put a little bit of water in my blue, and then I'm going to create a blue dot. I probably should have moved this one over a little bit so they weren't so far apart. But it still looks great, and I'm going to drag that blue color all the way down. And into the water puddle. Like that. And then we're done adding our colors. We can rinse our brush off one last time. That way we don't leave our brushes dirty. <laughs> I like to give it a good rub. And then we are going to sign our names. I like to use my ink pen for this and I put my initials. You can kind of put it anywhere. I'm putting it near the bottom. And we are done. All right. Thank everyone so much for tuning in to this awesome tutorial. I hope you had as much fun following along as I did showing you. Um, don't forget to check us out at coachart.org where you can find more ways to get involved with us. And I will see everyone at a future tutorial. Bye.